This video demonstrates the latest version of HiQ's high volume air sampler, the HVP5300 AFC. Some, some of the features of this new unit are has a barometric pressure and temperature display, has user selectable volumetric or mass flow control, has user selectable flow rate calibration units, CFM, LPM or cubic meters per minute, has user selectable pressure and temperature calibration units, also has a 15 point auto calibration or, or manual flow calibration and the ability to go backward and forward and a direct speed input, the details of which I'll be going through in the next video. The, the best feature of this unit is the micro SD card data storage directly SD in Excel. Card data storage directly in Excel. And the micro SD card is the same uh, as the one used in cameras. It's accessible through the front panel using a Phillips screwdriver. And the card just pops out of the controller and it's readable using a standard USB reader. And any regular Windows or a Linux computer can read the file directly into Excel. One of the optional features of this unit is the filter shield or the sample saver, a feature that automatically covers the filter paper when the unit is not in use and automatically opens just before sampling. And it's controlled by a switch on the front panel With the switch in the on position, the default position for the filter shield is all the way up or in other words, it covers the filter paper completely. And there are two limit switches on the top and bottom controlling the position of the uh, filter shield. It tells the controller when to stop moving the filter shield. Now as you see, it's moving all the way to the top and it's about to close the filter paper. Now if the sampler is turned on in any of the modes that we just discussed, the controller automatically retracts the filter shield all the way bottom and only starts sampling after the filter shield hits the limit filter shield hits the limit switch on the bottom Now like you see the sampler starts on only when the filter shield is all the way retracted. The next video will show some of the optional features of the unit and also some of the, the, the neat features like the auto calibration and the 15 point manual calibration, the temperature and pressure calibration and few different modes of operation. This unit can be operated in few different modes as, as shown in the, uh, the rotary switch on the panel. The seven day timer mode where you will be able to turn on and off during different times on uh, times of the day and days of the week. And there is a cyclic timer where you set a, set a schedule and have it repeat after so many days. And there's a totalizer shut off where it shuts off after sampling for total volume. And there's a elapsed timer shut off where it samples for a set time and then shuts off and there is a continuous mode where it keeps running until a